So this is a this is just um, I'm talking I'm talking about um, studying your landscape, and right now I am focusing on this area, and I'm looking at this tree right here, right here. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette while I'm pondering things. Okay, so this tree right here with all these branches on it. So studying at different times of the day. So um, where I've determined where direction my light source is coming from, I haven't really determined that yet. Um, so I'm just trying to make the branches right now. And then if you look at this scene, See all this right here, how it's all there, and then it looks like the tree is floating. So I've been working on that. So that's what you do is just keep looking and then adjusting. Now this isn't the same spot, but the one thing I have that I is a reference is the pine trees. And so it doesn't matter where in the forest I go, I'm still going to have the pine trees, but I'm changing the scene a little because I wanted to put the sheep in. So you can make adjustments along the way, and there's never um, a mistake because you can always fix it. Like this section right here, um, I widened out the tree and then made two trees. And it then looks like it's a reflection of the tree. And it kind of looks like water. And I was going, huh, maybe I could do the sheep grazing up to the water. And But I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it. But, but see, let the painting tells you about itself. And that's how I teach by intuition. Or that's how I paint these paintings. It's a little bit of reference. Because you're not going to, you, you know, it's not going to be a photograph or you'd be a photographer. You're making a painting, so it's a lot different, you know. Um, so I might turn that into water, but I've been working on this area right here. And then we'll see how it goes. Just a little bit of a progress report on what's going on on the painting today this is my daily vlog I'm not doing it till afternoon I'm not sure even what time it is I have no idea because I'm just in the now so now here <laughs> so looking at that and then just working on this and so I'm just studying the pine trees and the shapes of them and the distance and then just study them stare at them for a, and study them just by hanging out and sitting there and staring at it uh, you know it's a lot of staring when you're using reference from a live you know when you're outdoors and you're in the live you're in nature you're you know it'd be nice if the sheep came by wouldn't it be nice if they came right through here but they usually go I don't know where what they're route is but it seems to be on the road so I'm just looking at the shapes of the trees and then I'm making adjustments about what I would like to do here and so right now I'm working on this section and trying to bring this blue so it's not so like right here I'm going to fill it in with blue in fact we could probably do that right now Alright, let me scooch all my stuff over here. Okay, I don't have... Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, what color do I need? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm looking for blue. So, I need some white. I'm going to take this and put some white in here. 
because I'm going to make it blue, but I want to clean up the area. So you just white it out and clean up the area when you want to make a change. Kind of feel like... And I'm going to go ahead and take out this tree. So you can't get so so attached to the way it is. You've got to be able to... Boy, I used to be tortured when I was an abstract painter. And now I'm not... I'm very free. So maybe it's because I was an abstract painter when I was in uh, undergraduate school, you know that now so I'm looking and see how the and that went down a little bit too far but I'm gonna have to bring in some more ground which is gonna be which is gonna be flat that flat area see how it looks like everything is floating so everything looks a little bit messy right now oh I need some bug spray and I know I'm shaky with the camera I got a brush I got paint on my breast okay all right so I'm just trying to clean up that area there So it's very overwhelming, these bugs, <laughs> that's the reality of it. This is a no picture perfect uh, art instructional video or just hanging out and watching me paint, whichever you prefer. So it's either or. Um, so I'm gonna bring the ground in right here more. And this tree out. And so on this side, let's clean up this area. Well, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I, maybe right here. Maybe right here. Right there. Um, and that looks good. That looks good. Maybe a little white. So the clouds coming through. Um, that looks really good. I like that. All right, that looks good. Okay. All right, so when you are doing the background, I mean, you just kind of feel your way through it, you know, and, and let this painting talk to you, and then, well, it's hard to explain, but you'll understand if you're doing it, okay? All right, um, let's see. Now I'm going to add some blue, because this is a blue sky, it's not all cloud, but I'm just cleaning up the area. Um, okay, I think that's good. So let's take a look at the distance, what it looks like. Now see, I'm really, it's really straight, so I want to do a little bit of, well, let's like look at the, look at the tree edge. So I want to make it a little bit more, you know, barky. How it's not, it's not just a straight up and down. And then there's the, there's those little branches. So I'm going to get a finer brush, a real 
like real thin paired brush so that I can make thin branches and um, outline them so that's one of the things I need to put on my supply list when I go to the art supply store is to get a, a very a pack of all different kinds of brushes that are for real detail so some detail brushes anyway so, um, so that's the progress on this and then and then we're adding um, I've added in the sheet and been working on that so this isn't I never planned on leaving this is all going to be grass and then I'm going to add some sheep but maybe going the opposite direction because they were all going that way um, but then they just kind of appeared so I'm just going to go with it but this isn't water I was considering I'm letting it be right now to say oh maybe I'm going to leave that as water because you can see the reflection right here of the tree but even I it was a big thick tree and then I've doubled it but I gotta go in here and clean all this area up all right so you just um, you just keep if you need to white anything out don't you, you can't be afraid to because you can just you can always adjust it you know all right Let's see yeah that looks good great it's gonna say good and great at the same time I really I really like it all right.